Hi Buns, going into a new expansion, you're bound to pick up all kinds of cool new stuff. But where do you put it all? While I won't be able to help you with the emotional baggage you've likely picked up in Shadowbringers, organizing stuff can help you regain some control over your life. This person came to me for help and I talked them through the cleanup effort and they've given me that footage. Rimini has just the two base retainers and only plays a couple jobs with no crafting. So if you're like me and play lots of jobs and do crafting and have tons of glamor, you might need to adjust this for your needs. Rimini also had never touched an armoire or a glamour dresser, so this might be a helpful guide for new players who maybe aren't familiar with those systems. All right, so first things first, go to character configuration, item settings, and inventory interface. I personally like it to add expanded, but you might like open all, where you can see everything. That's personal preference, but I think a lot of people don't even know this option exists. You can also change how you would like things sorted. So when you right click, you can click sort. And if you don't like however it does it, you can go here and maybe change some of the things you don't like. After you pick your settings, go to a mender and repair everything you have. Just go down the list and get it all fixed. If you're a crafter, maybe you can fix it yourself. The point is get it done. After you've repaired everything, go to the armoire and start putting anything that you can put in there needs to go in the armoire, okay? And it also all has to be repaired first. That's why we repaired first. That should include like, you know, level 50 job gear, some seasonal gear, just random stuff. After you've put the first wave of stuff into the armoire, you can check your retainers to see if maybe they're carrying stuff that can go in the armoire. You can always tell by an item's tooltip, which will have the armoire symbol lit up if it can go in there. If it can, it should. If you're carrying indoor furnishings in your bags, you can use the storage space in either an apartment or an FC room or a private estate. All of those have separate storage slots, so you should have a ton of space for that. Outdoor furnishings, you'll need access to a yard because you can't store indoor furnishings outside and vice versa. Now it's time to categorize. How you group things will depend on your personal needs, but I'll show you my categories and it might give you some ideas. For the saddlebag, I really like to put dyes in there, terebinth, stuff that I won't immediately need inside of a dungeon. I have a list written down that I reference for my character and I'll put them up on the screen both for my character and for Rimini so you can see how these two different characters have different needs. I, for example, have five retainers. I have crafters leveled. I have lots of jobs. So one of my retainers is just for holding job gear. These categories don't matter. I mean, what matters is that you make categories and decide where those things will go so that everything has a place. Once you've done that, it's a simple matter of removing things from retainers that they should not be carrying and giving them things that they should be carrying. Same goes for the glamour dresser. At some point, this might feel a little bit like doing laundry because you'll grab like a big load of clothes, take it down to the mender to be repaired, and then take it to the glamour dresser or the armoire or the appropriate retainer. If you come across stuff you don't want or need, you can always exchange it for grand company seals, which you can use to buy glamour prisms. When you're turning in stuff to the grand company, be sure to hide gear set items so you don't accidentally turn in something that you're using on one of your jobs. If you do that, there's no way to get it back as far as I know. So this is an extremely organized system and it's a system that lets you understand where everything is very easily and quickly. I think the only drawback of the system is the time that it might take to put together a glamour plate. It's not too bad, but it's worth me showing you. So I have to go to one retainer for the weapon, the weapon retainer for the weapon, the uh, leveled gear retainer for the body pieces and other pieces that I might want. Now in your chat log, it will tell you what you've put in the glamour dresser so you can keep track of it. Uh, so we're gonna save that. Now that the glamour plate is saved, we can remove these things. So I'm going to right click on the stuff, click restore item for the all the things that we put in there because we put stuff in the glamour dresser now that doesn't belong there. And if we leave it there, it's going to lead to disorganization. So we're gonna put this things back where they go. You know, important part of being organized is putting things back where they go. <laughs> so if for some reason you were to start collecting tons and tons of glamour, it's, it might be worth it to consider getting another retainer. But if not, you can cut down on stuff that's here, stuff that is easily farmable, stuff that you think you might not use in the near future. 
Okay, well, that about wraps things up in a neat and tidy bow. I hope that this video is helpful to some of you. This is absolutely not the only way to organize things. It's just a system that works well for me. It took my friend about three hours from start to finish to make order out of chaos. And I've put that time lapse at the end of this video for those who are interested. Thanks for watching and I'll speak with you again soon. Bye.